Hello guys, my name is Desert Tiger and welcome to episode 19 of Green Project. Today we're gonna upgrade our Tree of Life. Right now we have tier 1 upgraded. So we're gonna upgrade to tier 2. As you notice, already got 350 points of green factor. I donated 99 dead rats, I donated 50 pigs, I donated 94 chickens. And now what's left is like extra 5 chickens dead chickens of course and we're gonna donate them to the tree of life and then we're gonna upgrade our tree to tier 2 so let's do this one two no I can't do it I cannot do like this this is a special moment and I need to shave and cut my hair hold on a second let me just go to my house let's shave and cut the hair okay now looks much better oh yes definitely that's much much better all right let's try it again uh, we got uh, chickens in our hand pretend that's yes that's the chickens in our hand right that's arrow pointing to the hand all right so on on three one two ah, i still cannot do it you know guys <laughs> sorry to tell you that we should doing this when you're gonna like drink coffee or well, actually since we we have the coffee but what you guys say about espresso because since that's a special moment we need to drink something else not just like simple coffee so let's drink the espresso hmm but where are we gonna find the espresso well i'm gonna show you where the espresso is so you have to just go like that i'm gonna maybe zoom out so you can see it so you're gonna go just straight from your house and this is the first house when we just visit but it's not this house you have to go to another house which is located a little bit of right of the first one and this is that's the house and here we can find the espresso what you need of course we need a flashlight I, the name is Firefly Headlamp by a colored flashlight. <laughs> I guess it's for me works much better as a flashlight. And let's go to this building. This seems like kind of kind of offices. See, so there's a desk with the computer, and I believe if you click on the desk, there's an Express Recipe, and what you have to right-click, learn, and we have the Express So. Well, so let's go back to our base and we're gonna make espresso. All right, let's take a look at our espresso recipe. So I'm gonna go do chemistry and scroll down and we should have, yep, espresso. So espresso requires just only 50 points of water and 20 roasted coffee beans. And I already got the coffee beans, of course roasted, 20. And I should have the water too in this one. Water jack is fine, and just put that, and we're gonna make espresso. It only takes 10 minutes to make espresso. Of course, this is not the coffee machine. This is the our t lab table. I guess this lab table. All right, so we have the espresso. <laughs> I know it's in the jar, but still espresso. Uh, what's the difference between espresso and the coffee? As you can see, coffee's got 30 points of water and 20 points of energy, and espresso's got 50 points of energy and plus 50 points of water. So it's kind of better, but it's required 20 beans. To make the one coffee cup, you need just only two beans and same amount of the water, of course. Yeah, which one is better? Uh, that will be for another episode, not for this one. Oh, by the way, we got the also honey, which is awesome. I have extra honey to eat. See, it kind of gives us plus 80 points of food. All right, without further ado, since we have the espresso, so let's drink. Ah, mm, very tasty. All right, we got the, our chickens, so let's upgrade our tree of life. On three. One, two, three. And we got our tree of life upgraded so what the tier 2 does tier 2 is telling us 
we're not gonna show purple mushrooms anymore. That means the purple mushrooms will never gonna strike again. So we're uh, immune from the purple mushrooms. Usually, as you guys remember, the, what the purple mushroom does is attack one of the trees, even that bush, like flower bush over here, or just regular that thorn bush. And it will convert to purple mushroom and everything what's, what's belong to that tree or bush will be like lying on the ground and after a while if you're not gonna pay attention where the purple mushroom is it will despawn, uh, not disappear, despawn. So now no more purple mushrooms so we don't have to worry about that. Alright so what our T3 required? Uh, I'm gonna explain a little bit this as you can see there's like green leaf and that's the green point factor right now we have 379 points of green factor and there's a 500 so we need another 181 I, oh, I'm sorry my math is so bad 100 <laughs> 121 uh, extra points for the, to get the 500 points and also we need the 99 pumpkins, 99 onions, 99 turnip and 99 tomatoes. Well, well, we have to, we can plant all of these because we, need, we have to have the seeds. That means we have the onions, we have the pumpkins, we have uh, turnips and tomatoes. So we have to upgrade our farmland. But uh, if you guys plant a lot of cypress trees, or elm trees, uh, then elm trees gonna give you tomatoes and cypress trees gonna give you turnips, like this one, for example. So if you plant this early and they're gonna grow like that, then it's easy to collect, let's say, because we need the turnips, so we're just gonna chop down the tree. You're not gonna use there we go. And you're not gonna that's I I don't want to say anything uh, you're not gonna use sight for this just chop the tree and then you just left click hold it left button and just collect everything it may be it maybe it's not gonna be 9 9900 but the rest of that you can we can like make a seeds and plant it so uh, let's grind it this way and the same thing you can do well with the tomatoes there should be tomatoes somewhere on the map all right, I find some tomatoes, but uh, well, this unit really a lot. So if you plant a, little, a lot of elm trees, you may get the tomatoes. But if you take it, you can have two tomatoes. Sometimes you're gonna drop one or two, but then the same tactic applies. You just have to cut down the tree. I don't know that's this one tree or the other one. Let's see. Let's see which ones, which ones got. Yep. Yeah and just collect it so that's the easier way to harvest all the stuff of course there's also some other stuff which we can take it but anyway this is how you can grab it all the tomatoes and uh, turnips and the rest of them you can plant it of course we have to still plant pumpkins and onions because they don't grow anywhere and since all the onions, pumpkins, tomatoes and turnips require lots of water so it's good time to upgrade finally our the last tool which is the watering can right now it can hold 1000 units so we can upgrade up to tier 3 because right now it's a basic tier then tier 2, tier 3 so let's see tools that's the last tool to upgrade what in can so that's how you can build it but we're not gonna worry about that at this moment so let's upgrade our tool so we need five planks 10 ferrite and 10 clay soil so let's get planks let's get ferrite clay soil put all together and let's upgrade our watering can all right our watering can is upgraded as you notice water is gone so I suggest if you have water, just use it. If you have plenty of water and you don't worry about losing the water, then you can go ahead and just upgrade. All right, so let's go to the last one, last tier number three. 
So we need again rain can and we need five iron bars. And we need five iron, actually ten iron, excuse me, and ten clay. So ten iron, ten clay. Okay, I'm gonna take even more, whatever, and let's upgrade to our tier three. And our tier three rolling can can hold up to two thousand units. So we upgrade our can from one thousand to two thousand units of water, and that will be useful for our next project to upgrade our tree of life from tier 2 to tier 3 and well also we need to plant more trees because we now we need 500 green points that's our green point factor and we got the honey very well all right that's all for this episode thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoy it and see you next time bye bye take care